Transformation happened. This is episode number 179. I was talking to somebody earlier today, and we were just going back through my journey, right? Like, I'm talking about my business journey, what I have done, what I've gone through. And the more I talk to these, uh, to, to this guy, his name is Tim, and the more I realized that I made so many mistakes when I first started, and that's one of the reasons I always, always, always tell young entrepreneurs that they must be patient. And because when I first started my business, I wanted it now. I wanted it all and I wanted it right now. And and, and was just mis making mistakes after mistakes. And honestly, like, like Tim said, that I was like a cat because I had nine lives. And it, it shouldn't have been like that because I should have known. But nobody was there to mentor me. Nobody was there to tell me. You know, we didn't have podcasts at that time. We did not have YouTubes all that other stuff. And I made so many mistakes. Like I was over leveraging myself. Uh, I was undercapitalized, did not have no working capital, uh, you know, was going day to day uh, thing. You know, I was just like in a, I was basically in a hamster wheel. And, and, and you know, when, when you're in a hamster wheel and hamster is running, I mean, the wheel is going faster and faster and faster. And as soon as the little piece of debris gets stuck in there, well, the wheel stops. And it doesn't matter how hard you try, how hard you clock, claw that that debris is stuck in that wheel and nothing is going to happen and that that was that was me i mean it happened so to me so many times and i was talking to tim earlier and and, and tim is like well what made you make it well, how did you get out of it i said tim the difference between me and a lot of other people are that a lot of other people quit because they are like well when is it time to quit and nobody knows when the time to quit is and i didn't quit and i got out of it Okay, maybe maybe I just had, you know, young kids at an early age. Maybe it was the pressure of me not failing for my for my kids. Maybe pressure was like, okay, you know what? It's do or die kind of thing. I want to make sure my 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 brother and my sister, my parents had a, uh, you know, they depended on me. My 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 little kids depended on me. My wife depended on me. I don't know what it was, but it was just I think like everything was right there, you know. Uh, the embarrassment of failure, I don't know. But whatever happened, one thing is that I didn't quit. I owed a lot of people a lot of money. And and somebody in my place, you know, Tim said, well, Sam, you know, a lot of people in your place would have just filed bankruptcy and said, you know what, whatever it is, you know, I'm only, at, I've only been in this business for three years and it's okay to go move on and start something new. And, and you know, I told Tim, yes, I could have done that too. But I don't know why I didn't do it. But that's the difference. Some people accept defeat and they lay down. Some people get through that defeat and they're like, no, maybe if I push more, I go through that wall. And, and, and that's what it is. Sometimes you got to push through that wall. You got to go through that wall. But at the same time, I look back and I'm like, man, I make so many mistakes. I was over leveraging. I just wanted everything right now. I should have been patient. And, you know, if I would have been patient, I would have probably would have slept a little better. You know, uh, I wouldn't have stressed myself out that much. And, and and patience is such a big, big thing. And I mean, this is something that I'm, you know, I can talk about in details and I can talk about it for hours and hours and hours. But, you know, someone said patience is virtue and, and, and it's correct. You, you have to be patient. In business, you have to be patient. You Slow and steady wins the race. We have always heard that. You know, the tortoise and the, and the hare. You know, the... The rabbit just ran out of there and, you know, went to sleep. And the turtle just crossed the line and won that race. So, uh, I mean, you know, stuff like that always happens. So, if you're a young entrepreneur, I will tell you one thing. You got to make sure you pace yourself. You got to make sure you have, you know, that working capital. You're well capitalized. Save and invest. You know, keep your overhead low. I say this all the time, but I can't s tell you enough. You know, one mistake that I made is like, when I was making money, I was like, oh, I want to buy this house. I want to buy these houses. That was That's another mistake that entrepreneurs make. Also, I've seen young entrepreneurs, you know, at least I bought a house. Some of these guys buy these Lambos and, you know, Ferraris and, uh, you know, uh, uh, diminishing assets instead of appreciating assets. Well, at least I didn't make that mistake of buying a diminishing asset. At least I bought an appreciating asset. But, you know, when you get in these houses that you sh have no business buying okay then 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 you know you pressure comes on and sometimes people rob their businesses 
to, you know, have a better lifestyle. And that's another bad thing. If you're going to rob your business and you're not going to be faithful to your business, you're not going to be loyal to your business, the business is not going to return the favor back. Guys, this is my three-minute Thursday session. I hope you liked it. Now let's go out there and make shit happen.